The state is pushing some schools to add instructional days back to their calendars. The controversy centers on schools that are on four day weeks. News 13's Annalisa Pardo talked to the PED and lawmakers fighting to keep those four day weeks. She has both sides. The battle over how much time New Mexico students should spend in the classroom is heating up again. A significant change like this is, is, is difficult and it does create a lot of questions. The PED is proposing a change to a recently passed House bill aimed at increasing instructional time for students. Originally, the bill required schools with five-day weeks to have 180 days of instructional time. And schools with four-day weeks needed 155 days. This change would make all schools in New Mexico have 180 days. Meaning they can still have four day a week calendars, but only for 50% of the weeks of the school year. The proposal is getting backlash from rural districts who operate on four day weeks and House Republicans who wrote a letter to the PED opposing the move. And we felt that that's a decision that should be made at the local level, number one, and number two, you're now broaching into substantive law and we think that should flow through the legislature since we are the people's representatives. According to PED, about 20 percent of New Mexico's districts operate on four day weeks. And in some of these rural districts, you're on the bus for one or two hours each way. And so that was part of it as well as trying to meet the needs of those local families and what's best for those students. The PED says what sparked the proposal were the alarming proficiency rates, 38 percent in reading and just 24 percent in math proficiency. We understand that it's a big change and we understand that change can be difficult. But when you're looking at uh, the student achievement that we're seeing in this state, uh, we need to change the way we do some things and we need to do everything we can to give every student every opportunity and every resource possible to succeed. PED points to a recent Rand Corporation study on the topic, which included New Mexico as a sample. It found that four day weeks led to students getting better sleep and more time with family, lower costs for the district and better teacher recruitment and retention. But it found a significant gap in learning loss over time. House Republicans noting they also want better student outcomes, but say this isn't the way it's wrestling. Uh, control from the local level. We think education is unique from community to community. And this, I think, is more of a top down, one size fits all approach, which is problematic. Annalisa Pardo, KRQE News 13. The PD is accepting public comment on the proposal and has already received more than 1,100 comments. There is also a public hearing on December 18th. We have details on KRQE.com.